everyone, it is Sweet Cup AG, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire doll collection. I do have 24 dolls and counting, and in today's video, it has been a long time coming of doing a reintroduction, basically. <laughs> I think I've gotten four dolls since my last On My Dolls video, and I haven't done one in like a year. I felt that just like, I love looking back at these videos. I love having them up here as like little timestamps and sharing with you guys my collection because it literally means so so much to me and ah, I just I honestly cannot wait to film this video and just a little disclaimer before we really get into it I'm not trying to brag in any way if you guys are here you know by this point like how I am I am not bragging I swear I just really love sharing my doll collection with you guys so without further ado let's get into our first doll who's actually up on the screen right now this is Miss Marie, she is truly me, number 53. I got her as an Easter present. I'm not sure how long ago. She is my first ever American Girl doll. She was a complete surprise. I honestly did not expect it. Whenever I was younger, I had wanted an American Girl doll so, so bad. But my parents kept saying that they didn't trust me with a $100 doll, which is honestly, I do not blame them. But that Easter, I got surprised with Marie and I named her after my middle name. She is meant to be my look-alike. I don't think that it's a perfect match, but you guys can be the judge of that. And so this is my first ever American Girl doll. Next up is Abigail. She is a customized Truly Me number 69. The only thing that I've really done to her is change out her wig. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have already known this by now, but if you are primarily on my channel, you have actually not seen Abigail in her full embodiment. Abigail was also the first doll that I bought with my own money. Isn't really saying much because she is my second American Girl doll, but the obsession was supposed to stop at Marie and as you can probably assume with how long this video is, it did not. I also got her online and she does have perma panties, so if you're trying to look for like a sort of time range, it was before American Girl discontinued her per perma panties, which I did try to get off at one point, but it, it stopped being free in the doll hospital, which I don't really understand, but I kind of see it as a collector's item now, and I don't think I would change it if given the chance. My third American Girl doll is Emma Rose. She was a Christmas present and she is truly me, number 61. She was always my diva of the group. Back whenever I got her, she was like the one thing I wished for for Christmas. And I'm so happy to have her a part of my collection because now I see like a bunch of people on like AGIG, on other social media platforms being like, oh my God, like truly me, number 61 is so gorgeous. I'm so sad that you can only get her second hand. And I am so happy to just have Emma Rose a part of my collection. I think she is one of my most photogenic dolls and I can't wait to be sharing more photos like that on my Instagram account. My fourth doll is Lillian. She is a create your own American girl doll with light blonde hair, gray eyes, the Josefina face mold, and freckles. Lillian was also a present for whenever I got my expander slash braces put on. I was a very heartbroken, like what, 13 year old whenever I got it, who um, did not have fun with an expander. If you have an expander out there, my heart goes out to you. It was absolute torture. And so my parents got me Lillian to sort of lighten the load. A fun fact about Lillian is she was actually named after a cat at the Humane Society. I saw the name and instantly fell in love with it. And I think she is just so unique. I'm so happy to have her in my collection and my one and only create your own doll from American Girl. Now we have Luciana, who is Girl of the Year 2018. I actually got her at the AG Place in DC. Me and my family were on vacation, and I believe I got her in 2019 because this was originally whenever American Girl started having their Girl of the Year dolls be around for more than one year. If you still remember whenever Girl of the Year was, you know, only out for one year, then I'm right there with you. But I'm so happy to have Luciana as a part of my collection. I feel like I don't do nearly enough with her, but the experience of getting her and eating at like the Bistro Cafe was absolutely everything. I love Washington DC and I can't wait to go back just to visit the store, honestly. 
My sixth American Girl doll is Kit Kittredge, and I got her as a early Christmas present to myself in a less than perfect package. So if I'm remembering correctly, I spent about 80, $90 on her, not even 90 and she came with two other outfits, her accessories pack, and another accessories pack that was from a discontinued Be Forever collection. So she is one of the Be Forever dolls, I believe my only Be Forever doll in my collection, and I got an absolutely amazing deal on her, and I know what you might be thinking, oh, well, like a less than perfect package, she must have been damaged, right? Like there's scratches on her, absolutely. Absolutely not. The only, I still have the like box, it's in our attic. There's like maybe a dent on the corner and that was all that was wrong with her. I think she is one of my cutest dolls. Her face coloring means like absolutely the world to me. And I don't know what I would do if I didn't have her part of my collection. Now we have Delphine. She is my seventh American Girl doll and truly me number 88. She was an Easter present over the pandemic and one of the dolls I absolutely fell in love with over the magazine. Whenever American Girl first released dolls with colored hair, I was going through my like teenager colored haired phase and I thought that her like cotton candy stripes were so, so cute. And I know that it's hard to like put outfits on her, especially because of her hair, but I think that makes it even more perfect whenever you get like a good outfit that matches. I think that she is adorable. She's one of my like cutesy, like, you know, tiny little baby dolls. And I absolutely adore her. Now we have Kira Bailey. She is Girl of the Year 2021, and I bought her in Columbus, Ohio. From this point forward, you are going to be seeing a lot of the Columbus AG store, which recently just closed. If you haven't watched my last store unboxing yet, you should definitely go watch it. It's the video right before this. I was heartbreaking, like broken to hear the news, but I love that I've gotten so many amazing dolls from it, including Miss Kira. Um, I bought her with my own money and another video on my channel that you should definitely check out is whenever me and my dad built her bungalow as a little DIY project. I love how it turned out. I still look at it in amazement today and you should definitely check it out if you are a Kira Bailey fan. My ninth American Girl doll is Felicity Merriman. I bought her second hand off of eBay from another collector. And so I only paid roughly about $80, $90 for her. She was a display doll as the seller had told me. So she came completely like untouched. Her pin curls are still intact, which is an amazing find for an amazing price. And she is also my first Pleasant Company doll. She is an original Pleasant Company Felicity. I love love having her in my collection. The green eyes are such a staple that I could not do without. And if you're more interested on her story or a review about her, you should definitely go watch the unboxing on my channel. Next up is Courtney Moore. She is the historical 80s American Girl doll. I ordered her online right whenever she was first released. My father loves like the whole 80s aesthetic and everything to do with it. So I have a lot of her collection as well. And whenever I saw American Girl was releasing a 80s doll as a part of their historical brand, I just knew that I was going to end up getting her and I'm so happy to have her as a part of my collection. My 11th American Girl doll is Addie. I bought her in Columbus, Ohio, right around the rebranding of the first like American Girl doll historical dolls. I believe there were five in the collection and Addie was one of them. I absolutely like fell in love with her. I knew she was one of those dolls who I was going to have to be getting at some point because I feel like she's just a staple in a lot of people's collections. And I absolutely love the Addie face mold. It's definitely grown on me from the past, but she's also my one and only textured American Girl doll. So with its perks definitely comes its hardships, but I would not do anything to replace her. Now we have Yvette Peters. I also bought her in Columbus, Ohio, right around whenever she came out. I saw her on the AGIG leaks. And if you followed me at that time and you remember, I posted the leaks on my story and I just gushed over how much I love this doll. From the second I saw her, I just knew that I had to have her. I think that she's so unique and one of the like prettiest dolls American Girl has ever come out with. I love styling and braiding her hair. And I think, oh, she's just so cute. I mean, you're looking at her. <laughs> she's so cute. 
My 13th American Girl doll is Corinne Tan. She is Girl of the Year 2022, and I bought her in Columbus, Ohio, like right around whenever she came out. I know that is a growing pattern. I'm a very impatient person, but as we will see in my next doll, which is Gwyn Tan, that I got them at the exact same time. I initially did not plan on getting Gwen. She is my one and only Welly Wisher doll. I'm actually not so into the Welly Wisher dolls, but whenever I saw Gwen in person and especially her like next to Corinne, I was like, oh, I just like, I have to get the sisters, you know? And I had the money, so I just went for it and I'm happy to have both of them. Now we have Presley. She is Truly Me number 79 and I bought her in Columbus, Ohio. I originally wanted to get a secondhand Kanani, but then I saw Presley and it's just, it's so perfect. I really miss whenever number 79 was up on the market because she is a lot like Kanani but without the hair struggles and especially trying to find a secondhand Kanani that has like an intact wig without like stealing your wallet. It just worked out so perfectly. I think she's one of my prettiest dolls hands down. Now we have Molly McIntyre. She is from the re-release, which I went to Columbus, Ohio to purchase. I went into the trip really wanting Molly. Whenever I saw her little glasses, which was always a sought after item for myself, I just knew that with the re-release, I had to take this opportunity. And then at the same time, I also bought Nenea. I saw Nenea in store and again, I had the money and I just fell in love with how she looked. And then they are also my my two, I believe, 50s dolls. And so I like to imagine like in my own little world that they're like cute little pen pals and they're best friends. And I just could not resist getting the both of them. My 18th American Girl doll is Monique. She is my first ever real custom American Girl doll. If you'd like to watch that video, you definitely should. She was such an experience. Her face up was done by the very talented Dolls Hollow AG on Instagram. You should definitely go follow her if you haven't already. But again, you should definitely go check out the video. She was an amazing experience. And I think, again, one of my most photogenic dolls. My 19th doll is Claudie. She is the historical American Girl doll. I got her actually from the Boston AG place without having to go to the Boston AG place. I won her in a photo contest where I got to pick out any doll of my choosing and Claudie had just come out and I loved her new face mold. I loved her little ringlets and her entire collection. I think that it's so cute and aesthetic and I love having Claudie as a part of my collection. Now we have Juniper. She is a Just Like You number 38 and I got her off of a secondhand seller on AGIG. She is one of those dolls from whenever I first started my collection that I knew I just like had to have. She is one of the Just Like Me dolls who I just fell in love with like initially and I had been waiting for a good opportunity to get her and so whenever I saw her for a good price online I just knew I had to snatch that up. Next up is Blanche. She is my second ever custom American Girl doll. I have an entire video on my channel of customizing her, which includes a face repaint, a like hair removal, the story behind her. I won't go into much detail because I highly suggest watching that video, but I got her for $10 off of a seller on AGIG. Oh, I won't say anymore, but like, I love Blanche. She is named after my great grandma. I think that she is just stunning. And she, she's just like part of me, like making her was an experience. And I'd love for you guys to see that. My 22nd American Girl doll is Renly. She is a truly me number 117 and I bought her in Columbus, Ohio. She was just released initially like a couple months after whenever I went to the AG place and it was actually between her and another doll who we will get to later who I was assigned to purchase or not. But I always wanted her face mold and seeing that American Girl was finally putting that into the truly me line, I knew I was going to have to get one of them and whenever I first saw Renly it was like a snap you will not know what I'm talking about unless you collect American Girl dolls but there's certain ones you just connect with and Renly was one of them 
Next is Rebecca. I got her as a Christmas present and she is my 23rd American Girl doll. She is the doll that I was talking about with Renly who I was debating between and I've always wanted Rebecca. I know that some like friends that I have on AGIG will know that Rebecca is like one of my top dear dolls. I think she's gorgeous. I knew I was eventually going to have her part of my collection and I was so like honored to have her as a present. My 24th and final American Girl doll is Nikki. She is the 90s historical doll, and I again bought her at AG Place Columbus. She is in the unboxing that I just posted in my last video. Again, you should definitely like check that out for more details, but whenever she initially came out, I saw her wig and I was obsessed with it, of course. Everything else I love. I love how cohesive her look is. I love her meat outfit. I could ramble on and on for days about all the reasons that I got Nikki, but if you really want to know, I definitely suggest go and watching my unboxing video. So this has been my entire American Girl doll collection as of 2024. I, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, love just like reporting like my collection i love seeing how much i have grown over time and of course i love all of my dolls i hope that you guys do too and that you enjoyed watching this video if you haven't already please consider subscribing it would make the day to me also please comment i love talking to you guys i try to respond to every single comment i love hearing what you guys have to say about my collection let me know if you guys own any of the same dolls that i do or what you think of their outfits i just love chatting um also make sure to go so shop so sweet doll studio like the video go check out my other content you guys know what to do at this point again thank you so much for watching and i hope that you all stay happy and healthy bye March winds and April showers,